What's up guys, this is Chris here, and today, I've got another first shots for you. Today we're gonna be looking at a SIG, but a pretty good SIG. We're gonna be looking at the SIG P320, a whole bunch of letters, no, I'm kidding. We're gonna be looking at the SIG P320 AXGF-9-Legion, which means that it has the aluminum frame on it, AXG, it's a nine millimeter, and it's got the Legion treatment, which is pretty nice, but on top of that, it's got the comp too. So you know that comp that was made pretty famous on the Spectre comp, they had the 320 version, they had the P365 version. It's actually kind of a new design of comp where they don't put it in the barrel, they just put it in the slide. Doesn't give you quite as good a compensation, but it doesn't like affect reliability nearly as much. You don't have to change springs and stuff like that. Well, they have that in the AXG now. And not only do they have that, but it came with the Legion treatment, the Legion trigger, the Legion grips, and it sort of looks like a 226. And when I saw this at Mr. Guns, I talked to Elliot and I was like, shit, I cannot say no to that. I really like the grip on this, I gotta say. I traditionally don't like the 320 grip. It feels like I'm grabbing like a Mattel toy or something. And this one feels really good. It feels like you can get higher than normal. It feels a little more like 226-ish. When I picked this up, it felt like a 226. And I was like, ooh, I like that. Because the 226 is my personal favorite SIG. I love that gun. And if this has anything near the reliability to the 226, I'll be very impressed. 226 is very, very reliable. Uh, I've got the Surefire X300 Ultra on here. Ultra Turbo or something like that. That. That's the turbo. It's the brand new one, whichever one that is. Uh, the the uh, Cerakote on this looks very cool as well. The color drew me to it. It's kind of a greenish gray, sort of. And uh, with the black accents, it looks very cool. We have the flat face trigger on there. It felt good. Uh, we have an SRO uh, 5 MOA on there. Uh, the gun itself comes with HD night sights and then obviously the dot mount. And then we have some serrations up here, which makes the gun very functional, even if you have a dot on it. A little bit of an extended magazine release release on there and then we actually have the grip panels on it as well and I'm not sure if these can be exchanged with the 226 or any, any other variations of the gun any 320 or maybe they have these on their website SIG kind of a la carte a lot of their guns so you can switch a lot of this stuff and then it does come with a magwell and then three of these badass 21 round magazines so you have a lot of capacity with the gun right out of the box you're gonna have a lot of capability with the gun right out of the box and I'm pretty happy with it so far on top of that you're gonna get the fire control unit now, the MSRP on this, I'm not really sure. I just think I paid like 1200 for it. So it's a pretty good buy considering everything that you're gonna get as long as it performs well. Before we get into the actual shooting portion though, I do wanna mention my page supporters. Thank you guys very much. You help purchase guns and ammo on the channel and I really appreciate it. The industry doesn't always love us, so we appreciate that you support us. Go down to the description, click the link, and it'll take you right to the patron. Also in that description is gonna be a link to a local shelter in Ames, Iowa. It's the YSS. They're a youth shelter and so much more. So please go down there and donate to that link as well. Those kids could really use your help. That being said, let's go out and shoot this motherfucker and see how it does. It really does seem close. God, some guy got on me in the comment section the other day and he's like, I see what you're doing. You're trying to make that gun look bad by shooting at a longer distance. You should test guns at seven yards and in because that's what the FBI says is the max distance. First off, the FBI does not say that. They say that, that most shootings happen within seven yards, but that's also an average. So if you have one shooting at one yard and you have one shooting at 14 yards, then they average out to seven. That's how it works. Math. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, let's try this out. We have uh, Blazer Brass in here, as always. We try to use that with our first shots. Thanks, Manning and Sons, for sending that out, by the way. And we also have uh, Slip 2000 on the gun. I oiled it up, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Ooh, that felt a little weird. pretty much on. Let's try some head boxes here. Cause I put a whole bunch of those in the bull and then I started shooting fast. And then of course they went left of the bull because of my trigger. We'll try the head shot. Yeah. So I got to tell you right off the bat, I liked it before I shot it a little more. Uh, the cop gives it kind of a weird recoil and pulse. I'm not, not used to this yet. I'll have to get a little used to this. And the trigger reset is much longer than I anticipated. Hmm. That's okay. We just, this is the get to know you phase. A 
All right, let's take a look at that four round group that I put over there. And I'm gonna have to move my dot just a little right, so bear with me. That was the last four shots I shot. There's two right there and then one there. If I was going a little faster, we could tighten that up a little bit, but that's still pretty good. I mean, you cover all that with a thumb. And at 721 feet, that's not bad at all. So we'll probably move the dot over just a little bit because these are my fast shots here. And this is my other group here. And they're all just a hair to the left, so move it to the right, we'll be good to go. All right, we're gonna change the zero a little bit. We're gonna shoot one last three round group at uh, seven yards, 21 feet, and we're gonna confirm. And then we'll start plinking. Ooh, I shanked that one myself. Yeah, we're pretty good with that. I'm pretty happy with that. Two in the bowl and one out. Classic. So we've got steel target down there at 50 yards. We'll just plink a little bit and see how we do. Fuck. I can't hit anything. Are you hearing the barrel or anything? No, I'm not. I don't hear anything. I'm gonna regroup it. All of a sudden, I hit the first one and then it just stopped hitting. Back to seven. Dead nuts. Holy shit. Okay. Those were two in the bullseye. Right, so can you- What he, is happening? I don't know, you know, so. <laughs> That's my group at seven yards. What the? I, you guess as good as mine. I guess we'll just shoot a little bit at 25 and if we hit, we'll back up and back up and just kind of see where the groups are going, I guess. I can get one of those plates, the six inch plates at 25. Yep. 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 Nope. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna try putting kind of just a group on that six inch plate on the right that only has two bullet holes in it. Missed it. Missed it again. Missed Those off. were, uh, uh, high. That's they were the word. High? <laughs> they were high. Are you sure? Yep. Yeah, you're right. Sometimes I'm useful. Yeah, sometimes you are. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot that paper again for 25 and just see if maybe there's just such a difference in the dot and the, the bore. Maybe we're having some bore issues. So I'll shoot at that bottom left circle down there. And we'll try real slow. Oh, I pulled that one. I just wanted to put enough rounds down there to know there's like no deviation. Oh, we are super high. Yep, yep. Oh yeah, absolutely. Wow. Why would it be fuck? so high? Uh, I don't know, it's made by SIG. <laughs> so that's my, it's my quick group at 25 yards. And as you can see there, this is the target I was aiming at. So we're one, two, three, Three inches high, one, two, two and a half inches left to the center. So, yeah, that's a little weird. So it's like, possible to be dead on and then that off? Yeah, it's just like a rifle. You have a bore axis difference with the mm. dot. I just normally don't see them so extreme as mm. all.
All those felt great. Whether they were great is another story. All right, now we're cooking with gasoline. Hey. One, two, three, four. Cool. That's better. Yeah, that's that's more than good enough. Yeah, that's a good group for 25 yards. That's 75 feet. Let's give that's him some like, That's like four times further than that guy wants me to shoot. <laughs> Suck it, guy. 50 yards, take two. I think we're gonna do a little better here. Yeah, I'd say that's a little better. Yep. What do you think? I agree. I say that's too easy. We going if I, back? If I hit 12 in a row, it's gotta go back. Okay. All right, handsome. All right, so I finally think I figured out my grip a little bit on this gun. So 75 shouldn't be too hard. A lot of uh, precision shooting is actually grip. So far so good, 75 is not too bad. Now one of the things that's hard to get used to is the trigger reset for some reason on this is long. And I, I wanna try to compare it to my Spectre Comp, the 320 Spectre Comp I had before this, but I feel like this trigger is actually a little bit longer even than the one that came in the uh, 320 uh, Spectre Comp. But it sure is accurate once you figure out how to shoot and you know, zero your dot and all that. Try to go for something real small. Hmm. Try one of the poppers. 75, that's a big ask. Got it. Hell yeah. That ain't so bad. Well, I mean, if you can do 75, why not try 100? Why not blow some mines? Got it. Hit something. Yeah, I don't, I don't I think know I'm what it was. The, I think I'm hitting the fucking stand. Could be. To be honest with you. Well, you got two or three. Four. Yep. I bet I can get five. Should we get a lottery ticket today? If you want. <laughs> Five. All right, well, we got 10 rounds in this bag. Let's shoot the plate rag. Okay, sexy. All right, we only got 10 rounds left. Well, 11 rounds. So let's see how it burns up close, shall we? Yep. You know, I hate to say it, but it shoots real fast, don't get me wrong. But just like all the fucking 320s, you put a metal grip on it, you put a comp on it, doesn't matter. If I got a fucking weapon light on this thing. I mean, I got everything that Gucci this up you could possibly do. And every time I pull the trigger on this, when this slide recycles, when the slide recycles, it doesn't recycle. It does cycle though. Uh, it The whole gun pops back. Like it every, does. Every time I shoot this thing and I don't have like a fucking iron clad grip, it just wants to ride up on me. And if you shoot a CZ, like P10, or if you shoot a Walter PDP, which maybe does it a little, but if you shoot like a CZ P10, or you shoot a Glock 19, or you shoot like a CZ 75, or 2011, anything like that, you're not gonna feel that. 
like you're not gonna feel that as much. This thing like, it doesn't wanna like pop back. It's like so top heavy that it just wants to go like this every single time. And for me, it just takes a little bit of the speed out of the shooting for me. And that's one of the things I hate about the 320. I just hate that it rocks like a boat. Like it feels like a school bus is going back and forth on there all the time. And now the 226 has the exact ergonomics, right? But it does have the, the hammer. And the hammer does do something at least to reduce the recoil and felt muzzle flip because the 226 is not as snappy as this is and it doesn't even have a comp so it's a cool gun but it's still a 320 okay now there was a lot of things I did like about it first off that it did have the grips I liked I prefer the grip much better over their standard 320 the magwell was super awesome a lot of times even on expensive guns you'll see a lot of uh, spots in here for the mag to get stuck nothing sig did an amazing job at the funneling of the magwell a lot of times people throw a magwell on there and it just has a bunch of edges and it just doesn't serve a point all it does is make your your grip bigger if your mag is getting stuck anywhere when you're putting it in there you might as well not even have that fucking what's that maneuver this that's something you do later <laughs> but uh, uh the trigger was good but as you can see here again a lot of creep there a lot of creep especially for a 1200 gun and then watch the reset that is a long way for a striker fired gun and it's just it kind of feels you have this motion going on while you're shooting which is slower and you have this motion going on while you're shooting which is slower and you put a lot of money and time into making a slow thing fast when you can just buy a fast thing <laughs> in my opinion but the surefire helped a little bit puts the weight out on the front i'm not sure if the comp on this really did much i have to say because i've shot the previous axg and i've shot the 226 and i gotta say the recall impulse is similar if not a little better on the 226. so if you like this style of gun you like the grip you like the features you like the color you can always get the 226 legions made by the same company and that was actually used by the navy seals and it's been tested successfully a lot more than the 320. that being said what the 320 has going for it is the fire control module and that is a huge advantage and if you don't care so much about the bore actually you're not trying to shoot as fast as possible it's an extremely fucking accurate gun i mean we shot uh poppers at 75 yards you know the center of that popper is only six inches wide so i mean you get a little more uh, uh vertical deviation but as far as like horizontal deviation six inches that's pretty impressive with a stock gun that's like 1200 trigger once i got used to it felt great everything went where i wanted it to go once we got the damn gun zeroed uh the sights that it comes with are actually pretty good and the look of the gun is absolutely spectacular if this isn't the sexiest fucking p320 i've ever seen i don't know what is it is, it is so sexy. i'm happy with it so far it's got the same uh issues that all 320s have but it fixes a lot of the other issues that 320s have if that makes any sense so it still has the boat rocking thing it still has kind of a rough trigger but everything else pretty excellent if you like this video please like and subscribe we're gonna, obviously going to do a full review of this because it's pretty fun to shoot and we already shot like 150 rounds through it today so i'm gonna have my buddy shoot this and we're going to get back to you after a thousand see how it does please stop by your local homeless shelters and remember to recycle i'll check you later